So here's a plot of potential versus time uh, corresponding to the uh, capacitor lab that we're doing in Physics 255. So as discussed in the instructions, the first part is when the capacitor is being charged and the voltage increases linearly with time. And the second part is when the capacitor is discharging through the voltage probe and then the potential decreases exponentially with time. And we're going to try and fit an exponential curve to the second part of the graph. So the way to do that is we go first and click on the icon corresponding to fitting a function and a window comes up with um, a smaller version of the plot and a list of possible equations that we can fit to uh, our data. If the particular function that we want to fit doesn't appear on this list, we can actually define it. There's a button here that says define function. But in our case, uh, the function that we want, which is an exponential, is one of the functions on this list, so we just choose that one. And it depends on three uh, parameters, a, b, and c. The, the general form is a times the exponential of minus ct, and then plus this constant b. So that's the function we want. We're also going to check the box that says time offset, because um, we are not going to begin at time zero. So then we go on to the plot here, and by clicking and dragging, we're going to choose the part of the, um, of the curve that we actually want to fit, because obviously we're not interested in fitting anything to this linear portion. And uh, the blue rectangle here highlights that interval that we're actually interested in. So now we have everything we need. The fit type is automatic. All that remains to be done is to click on Try Fit. And very quickly, the program comes up with the parameters that best fit our data. And it also shows the fitted curve so that we can verify that, in fact, it gives a very, very good fit to the measurements. So we're satisfied with that. We click OK. And that brings us back to the main window. And now there's a little box here that we can drag around like this with the information on the fitted curve. So once again, this black curve, I don't know if you can see it on the video, um, is the fitted curve and it passes very nicely through the red measured uh, data. And in this box also we see the values of the three parameters now with their uncertainties. So that's all there is to it. Happy curve fitting.